Hi, this is Kiki Letalien, and today I am speaking to the attendees of the Mid-Atlantic Marketing Summit on Siri and Alexa, what brands need to know. That's happening in DC today, and I thought I'd use this opportunity to share a quick tip about voice for anyone out there following this flash briefing skill on Amazon Alexa. So as a marketer today, what do you need to know about voice assistants like Siri and Alexa and Google? It's really simple, and it boils down to two big questions. How does the use of voice assistants impact search? And how does it impact the content I create for my brand? The reason these are the two big questions you really need to think about is because You know, we have some statistics out there that show that people are using voice search more and more. In fact, Comscore says that by 2020, 50% of all searches will be voice searches. And if you think about how you use any voice assistance that you have in your life, that's really what you're using them for most of the time, probably, is asking questions and looking for information. So 29% of voice assistant devices in the home, um, their owners use their devices several times a day. With another 24% of voice assistant device owners saying that they use them at least daily. So all of that's to say that when you have over 50% of people who own these devices saying they use them at least daily, usually more than that, then, and you also know that up to 50% of the searches that are done are going to be done using voice assistance, then you need to have a strategy in place for how you can optimize for search for the way that people ask questions on their voice assistance. And you need to think about the content that you're creating both online, but then also um, specifically for voice because there are types of content that you create or skills that you create for your voice assistants. So all of that's to say, look, these devices are being used more and more and people are adopting and adapting extremely quickly to using voice for search. As humans, we want easy and asking the air a question and getting an answer back from the air is really, really easy. So we need to optimize our information online for search, the way that people look for information with their voices. And we need to think about how people actually use these devices and how they want to use these voice assistants. And we need to begin to create content to feed that need. We're in a voice first land grab for skills. People are naming these skills and pieces of content. And it's similar to the early days of buying domain names where it's like, I want marketing.com. You know, I want the marketing skill. I actually know the person who got the first uh, flash briefing skill for marketing, right? And so we have an opportunity now as brand leaders, marketers, Anytime you have anything that you're trying to get out there to people, this is your opportunity to stand out as people are learning how to use their voice assistants and what it means to, um, you know, sort of work back and forth using their voice with the technology around them. I'm looking forward to sharing my advice for these two areas, optimizing for voice search and developing creative content for voice. SEOs out there everywhere are, are should be thrilled about this development because if you didn't care about voice before or SEO before, you should now. Now is the time. You really need to do this. I'm looking forward to sharing this advice. I wish you could all be there for my presentation today. In the meantime, think about your voice strategy. Do you have one? What questions do you have about voice first marketing? And you know, if if you care at all, one of my big topics I talk about is community. If you care at all about the community that you have, how are you adding that sense, that that ability to connect with your community? right now using voice. I want to know what you think on the socials. You can contact me at Kiki Letalien and I will talk to you next time.